video what's up i am back with the first of many 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 i'm just kidding not that many uh back to school videos so i start school in four days i believe four days yeah because it's thursday and i start school on monday so I just wanted to give you guys some tips, mainly for the freshmen, but I mean, you can watch this too if you're not a freshman. Pretty much, honestly, like anybody, either going into high school, even middle school. So let's get started. Okay, so this first tip, I'm telling y'all, I should have learned this in middle school and still haven't followed it, and I'm going into freaking 12th grade, okay? Mm. freaking bring a water bottle okay i don't know that may sound like the stupidest tip but like okay you, the the water fountains are either like nasty there's something in them that's nasty they taste nasty or they're not cold or you know if you're short like me you can barely reach them or your teachers are like no you can't go you're gonna have to wait a minute so please God, bring a water bottle. Like, and if I'm sitting there and you forgot your water bottle and I have to use the bathroom and you asked first, I'm gonna pee. Get a freaking water bottle. Just bring your own water bottle. I'm so sorry for those who don't bring their water bottle. That was not like, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, my next tip, number two, kind of goes along with the um, water thing eat food okay we don't need you sitting over here complaining that you're hungry because you don't have food okay all right all right eat lunch eat breakfast eat something i mean if you're like me i can't eat breakfast i feel like i'm gonna throw up every time i eat breakfast so eat breakfast ladies and gents just just eat breakfast or eat lunch or bring a snack most teachers are pretty chill about eating or you can just sneak it like it's pretty so yeah, be sure to do that. Adding on to that, we don't need you hangry. So my next one is for those who want to stay organized during the school season. Um, uh, freaking color code your notes. That is the best advice I could give you. Even if it's a piece of paper and your teacher's like, here, you guys can write on this. It's a reading. Color code it. Highlight highlight get colored pens like i'm serious get colored pens highlight underline if you only have a pencil and a black pen just circle i mean seriously it really especially when you color code things it helps your brain like okay that's that and that's that i don't know if that makes sense but do it i'm not kidding take the time and color code your stuff okay this one was just kind of like a funny one um I don't really know if it's really like a hack, but don't try too hard, okay? It's high school, it's middle school. You're gonna get so overwhelmed from waking up at four o'clock in the morning because you gotta shower. I mean, there are certain circumstances where it's like, oh yeah, you gotta wake up at four o'clock in the morning because you gotta get somewhere to get to the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the case could be. But like, if you're waking up at four in the morning to do your hair and to do your makeup, no. No. no okay you're gonna get exhausted obviously do it like once in a while it's okay but like every day you're gonna get freaking exhausted i am so sorry to break that to you but don't be waking up at four or five in the morning we don't need you tired and mad and angry i hope that was a good one i mean i kind of thought that through and i was like mm, i don't know should i put that in there but i decided to include it so and seriously like no one cares what you look like in high school like especially if you're not like popular and like no one cares what you look like i'm sorry to break it to you honey i mean i'm ugly look at me i'm ugly but like i don't care my next thing uh my next hack tip whatever you want to call it is use a planner like Y'all don't understand, or use a whiteboard. I use both, not even gonna lie. And sometimes I write notes down on my phone. Even just writing stuff down on your phone 
or writing it on a piece of paper is just, it gets through your head and you're like, okay, I have to do that. Like, I gotta do it. Okay? Like, just use it. And it helps you organize. It is very, very helpful because then you're not like, oh, I'm hanging, I'm hanging out with you, but I'm working. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Gotta cancel. Right? So you don't do that. It also helps you with the homework that you need to finish, uh, like plans with your family, whatever it could be. I'm serious, it is so helpful. And through my last three years of high school, I've always used the planner. It's pretty good. I'll even show you mine. If you go um, when it's up, watch my What's in My Backpack video. This one, it'll make me so mad. Okay, okay. I understand y'all's frustration with teachers. Don't worry, I got that too. Got teacher problems. But for the love of God, don't talk back to them because we don't wanna hear them complaining throughout the whole class period and telling us, well, I don't deserve being talked back to or whatever. And plus, they're teachers, they're giving you education. I understand that some teachers are not the best, but just uh, talk to it outside of school. I don't wanna hear it, I know what it feels like, so it's not like I want to hear it, you know? Like, I know, I understand, but like, I, I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying. I know that one was kind of stupid too, but it's okay. it's okay. This one is mainly for y'all freshmen out there, okay, freshmen? Put your schedule on your phone or write down on a piece of paper and have that piece of paper in your pocket handy, ready to go. Because I don't want to be standing in front of you, waiting for you to... Where's the classroom? That's what freshman orientation is for, and you should have gone. But if you didn't, that's your own problem. I'm so sorry. That was probably really rude, but, like, I'm not kidding. Because, at least in my school, I'll be standing there, and there'll be these freshmen. Just like, um, where's my classroom? Can you help me? And I'm like, yeah, I'll help you, but, like, just write it down on your phone. The rooms are really simple. They go in order, like... Not that difficult. This next one is really good and one of my favorite like pieces of advice. Make a playlist for school, okay? Because the longer you take sitting in the classroom trying to find your playlist, the more homework you're gonna have to do. I'm just telling you. So like make a few different playlists. Make a class playlist, make a um, bus playlist or a car playlist however you get home make one because then you're not sitting there and then you don't have to do more homework make a homework playlist if you want to listen to music while you're doing homework that way you're not taking forever trying to scroll through your phone and be like which one which one do i choose i'm just saying i mean that's my piece of advice but that's probably one of my favorites when i was in middle school i used to have a bus playlist um but i don't ride a bus anymore so it doesn't apply to me but I have a car playlist when I'm driving home. And that way I can just set it and I'm not texting and driving or on my phone and driving. Brilliant. This next one is all of, all of you guys should really like this one, okay? Take time to yourself. I know teachers give a lot of homework. I know you have a lot of homework, trust me. Me too, but I'm not sitting here spending five hours on my homework, taking a shower and going to bed. That's really, really funny. I know you have a lot of homework and some nights it may be like that, but don't, don't do it every night. I'm so sorry, but if you have that much homework, then do it before you go to class. Like, honestly, honestly, just, just do it before you go to class you're gonna be tired and then you're gonna be asking like it just obviously I'm not telling you guys don't do your homework because by all means please God do your homework but take some time for yourself play Xbox watch Netflix do something don't spend five hours on your homework okay this next one is another really big one for new people but also kind of old people too do not ask for pencils or paper 
honestly when you ask for pencils and paper it just gets super annoying and you're wasting my pencils and paper and then when you don't give them back at least if you're gonna take one give it back or if i tell you you can keep it then you can keep it but like give it freaking back give it back i don't want to waste my 20 freaking dollar worth of pencils on you <gasps> And the very, very last tip I have for you is just don't fool around. Don't fool around. Just go into high school, get out of high school, like, or middle school, whatever the case could be. But just don't go in there and fool around. Just do your work, talk to your friends, socialize, eat lunch, go home. Like, it's just that simple, guys. Just that simple. Anyway guys, I really had a lot of fun filming this video. It was like kind of a good sit down conversation with not very much editing, so it was really nice.